David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE 2301 statics, sample quiz number three, where we're going to do a centroid of a curved shape by integration. Now, first, just talking about the problem setup, we have a curve with y axis in the vertical, x to the horizontal. And the curve is defined by the formula y is equal to one-fourth x squared. That describes that curve right there. Okay, x runs from 1 to 4. So the area, as the textbook points out, is bounded by the, on one side by the x-axis. So we tend to want to use a strip to integrate that's perpendicular to that axis. So this is the strip I've chosen. It's uh, marked in red. Its width is dx, the element dx. Um, the height of it is just the y value. So the area of that strip is, which is the first thing we want to figure out, is that area is y tall by dx wide, so it's uh, the little elemental area dA is y dx. So say we're going to evaluate that, and we plug in this value for y of one fourth x squared, and we get one fourth x squared times dx, and we're going to integrate that from one to four. So we do the integral of x squared, which is equal to x cubed over 3. We multiply that by the 1 fourth. We get 1 times 4, 1 over 4 times 3, x cubed. We evaluate that from, at, at 1, this value is equal to 0 0.083. At 4, x value equal 4, this evaluated equals 4 to the third power, which is 64, divided by 12, or 5.33. Subtract those two and get the value of that integral from 1 to 4, 5.25 square inches. That's the answer for number 4 on the sample quiz. Part 5 was, number 5 was to get the x bar distance, the centroid about the y axis of uh, that of that area. So first I need to get x bar a which is equal to the integral of what I call x tilde times dA. x tilde is the distance from the y-axis to that elemental area dA and that's just the x value. So evaluating that out I get x tilde times dA, which this expression is dA, comes from up here, where dA is y dx, that's y, that's dx. Combine the x terms, I get that x bar a is equal to the integral of one-fourth x cubed dx. Evaluating that, Remember, this is something you've got to know is uh, the integral of x to the n power is x to the n plus 1 power over n plus 1. So that evaluates out to 1 fourth times the 4 on the bottom times 4, x to the 4th, evaluated from 1 to 4. At 1, x equals 1, this works out to be 1 16th, which is 0.0625. Add x to the fourth, I get, I believe it's 256 for x to the fourth, 4 to the fourth, divided by 16 is equal to 16. So just do the subtraction, I get that x bar a is equal to 16 minus 0.0625, 15.9, say 94 inches cubed. Remember, we're always going to keep track of our dimensions because that helps us keep track of whether or not we've got the right kind of formulas and values going. So here I've got x cubed 
divided by x squared and I have an inches. x bar is equal to x bar a this value divided by area this value up here and it's 3.036 or 3.04 inches. We look at the uh, shape we see that yes its area should be shifted over there to the right and uh, something to the right of three looks pretty good to me. Uh, finally problem number six on the sample quiz was what's y bar? y bar a is equal to the integral of y tilde dA. Now y tilde is the centroid of that little elemental strip that's dx wide and y tall so that's half of the value of y. y tilde is equal to one half of y at any point along there. So that's equal to one half of y which is one fourth x squared. So evaluating that out, y tilde is equal to one eighth x squared. So I need to multiply y tilde, one eighth x squared, by y dx. This is the y value from up here or from up here. And so, combining all the terms, doing the math, I get it's the integral of one from one to four of one thirty second, which is the eight times the four, x to the fourth, which x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. I evaluate that out. I get one thirty second, and then I take the n plus one, which is five, put it on the bottom here, to x to the fifth power. So. I evaluate that out at x equals 1. That's equal to 0 0.00625. At x equals 4, x to the fifth is a big number. Divided by this number is 6.4. 6.4 minus 0 0.0625 is y bar a of 6.394 blah 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 inches cubed. So y bar is equal to y bar a divided by a is equal to 6.394 divided by 5.25, the area from up here, 1.218 inches. I look at it, yeah, most of its area is down near the x-axis, so it's shifted a little bit down. 1.218 inches looks pretty good to me on that drawing there. Um, you know, on the test I could also see a problem like homework problem 713 which I did a short video of it didn't go all the way through the solution of but it was a area like this bounded on the left by the y-axis and so is in keeping with that hint that I or the suggestion that Dr. Norville makes in his book if you're doing the integral of an area that's bounded by an axis it's usually best to take a st elemental strip that's perpendicular to that area. So see that video also, review that before the test.